For now, bargaining between Portland Public Schools and the teachers union is off after the union announced today that it is walking away from talks. The union says teachers are overwhelmed by the workload in the classroom created by the pandemic. But the district says what they are proposing is not a good idea. Fox News' Deborah Gill joins us now with more on where things stand. Good afternoon, Deb. The union says after five sessions of bargaining, it became clear to them that the Portland Public Schools District wasn't willing to offer any significant workload relief for educators or improvements in student safety, along with academic and emotional support. So they informed the district they are withdrawing from the talks. In August, the union demanded to bargain with the district over the workload impacts brought on by the pandemic. Discussions finally began in November with the Portland Teachers Association asking to scale back in-person instruction. A four-day school week for high schoolers with one day dedicated to office hours and at-home learning. Elementary and middle schools would have one day a week where class starts two hours late or be dismissed two hours early. The union says this would give teachers more time to prepare their lesson plans and give students a breather. We talked to both sides in November. Our proposals are designed to try and uh, provide a capacity for everyone to give the maximum amount of service to students and also provide the best, uh, well, the safest and best environment for students during that time period. We definitely agree that there's, it's been a challenging year for everybody for the last couple of years, and we know that there are some issues that we need to resolve, but the district cannot support any proposal that reduces uh, in-person instruction for full days. Today, in a statement, the union says many educators are considering leaving the profession. They say Portland schools are dangerously understaffed, safety is a constant concern in buildings, and many students urgently need targeted support. In November, the district had told us that students need class time more than ever now, and they don't want to reduce any instructional time. The Portland Association of Teachers says the district indicated that they shared the goal of addressing the crisis they're all facing, but say the district rejected almost all of their proposals, including changes that do not impact student instructional time. We have reached out to Portland Public Schools, but have not heard back yet. Reporting live in studio, Deborah Gill, Fox 12, Oregon.